I think the short answer to the definition of what a swarm is, is that there is no short answer, that there are many facets to what a swarm actually entails. So we often think about swarms as simply being large numbers of collections of robots or what have you. But in fact, it's much deeper than that, much richer than that. There's a facet associated with how complex individual robots are. We call that the agent complexity. But even beyond that, we're interested in how these large teams potentially interact with one another. We'll call that the collective complexity. How complex are the interactions, the communications, the sensing that they're all able to do in a distributed way? A couple of other dimensions that we're really interested in that really broaden the perspective of what swarms can actually do and are include the fact that they could be composed of different types of agents. So you have heterogeneity, a mixture, not just in terms of platforms, but also in terms of functions, the roles that they can play. Just like you have different roles on a team uh, of, of human players or human teammates. And then finally, the fifth dimension, which I see as being a critical one, is the human swarm teaming or the human swarm interaction piece. This is where the human now plays a role in either command and control or working side by side as teammates to the swarm. There are some really deep and potentially profound questions on how we would leverage and use these types of swarm systems, and that merits the question of how do we interact with them. That's a fantastic challenge, and I think that's one that we're wrestling with both as a community and as a department in understanding what the capabilities these types of swarm systems can provide.